radio consultant is receiving death threats for what he says is just reality in country music radio. Less women equals more ratings. And that has female artists fighting back and hoping for change. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is live on Lower Broadway tonight. Todd, this has a lot of people upset. Yeah, Shannon, these honky tonks here on Lower Broadway are where people come to get discovered in country music. But to make it on the radio, one veteran consultant says less ladies, and he says it's based off of what listeners want. Now, that comment has gotten him blown up on social media for the past 48 hours. But women in the business say it's unfortunately true. That is so beautiful. Warming up for their performance tonight, singer and songwriter Megan Connor and guitarist Matt Ferranti have a lot of songs to choose from. Remember Bullet Wound? Do we know that one? And tonight, Megan can choose from her favorites. Being a woman, it's a very male-driven business. But when it comes to making a living... All of my cuts have been males, and except for one. There was a certain audience to appeal to. You go in the room and you're like, well, what do you want to write about today? Well, we can't write a girl song because it's not going to get cut. And so you focus on the male the male ideas. It's the harsh reality of the business she's in and only made harsher by this. If you want to make ratings in country radio, take females out. That from veteran radio consultant Keith Hill to radio industry magazine Country Air Check. Women like male artists. I'm basing that not only on music tests from over the years, but more than 300 client radio stations. <laughs> We were listening to country music and it was all oh, guys, 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 and then Miranda, and then it, you know, one other per one other girl, but it was primarily guys. So it's a very, it's a very um, male driven business, and um, to be a female is, is, it's hard. Female artists like Martina McBride and Miranda Lambert taking to Twitter saying, This is the biggest bunch of blank I've ever heard. I am going to do everything in my power to support and promote female singer songwriters in country music always. Tonight, it's about the songs Megan wants to sing. She hopes in the future it will be the ones she wants to write, too. The women are the ones that are listening to country radio. And so, even in the male songs, like, we need those females in the room. We need the females on the radio. Girl power. Good, you got it. Now, late this evening, I spoke to Keith Hill by phone just about an hour ago, and he says he's not sexist. He says he bases that information uh, on radio programming off of 40 years in the radio business. He says any more than three or four women on country radio in an hour, and he says ratings actually start to go down. Ironically, he says that the majority of country listeners are women. We program country radio to appeal to women. And across this country, from Maine to California, 150 million women tune in country radio, and they listen longer if you play a smaller component of females in your library. Now, Hill says it is a proven format, but many radio programmers are commenting online saying that it has never affected their ratings if they play more women or if they play women back to back. They say good music is good music. We're live on Lower Broadway tonight. I'm Todd Walker, News Channel 5 HD.